Kodak owned the world of film and photography. It became an icon, much like Marilyn Monroe, seen here on this rare 8mm Kodak film shot by a U.S. naval officer who was invited on her set in 1958. It remained in its original Kodak box and has since been auctioned off. Not long ago, you might see the Kodak name outside a store like this. Today, its awning promotes Japanese companies that have taken over the film and photography business. But Syed Terraverdi, who runs this store, says Kodak used to be the best. But in the older days, when I started the business, you, you walk into my store and everything was Kodak pretty much, or 80% of the brands of the name was Kodak. Film, projector, some lenses, uh, cameras, you uh, name it. I mean, their footprint was almost everywhere. Times are tough for Kodak now. There's been talk it might be heading toward bankruptcy, being squeezed in a world of point, click, and share. The 131-year-old company known around the world by its yellow box with a red letter name is fading. Its film used to dominate the stores, but today its once proud picture-perfect business is being cropped by the competition. In 1991, Kodak settled with Polaroid, a nearly $1 billion payout for infringing on Polaroid's instant camera and film patents. Terraverdi says that's when he thinks Kodak began to fall. I think that loss was such a big impact on Kodak that it really prevented from them, for them doing things right. And everything, everybody else did the things right. For instance, Fuji, it came out of nowhere in this country and now they're a big player in the industry. Add to that competition from Nikon, Canon, Sony, and other industry players. Professor Sandeep Dahia is at Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. What they tried to do was to get ahead of this train and develop a digital business. Uh, problem there is that there are already existing players who are very good at it. It's a very competitive field and it's a transformation that just didn't succeed. In 1988, Kodak employed 145,000 people around the world. Today, the workforce is less than 19,000. Two years ago, it retired its high-end Kodachrome film line. Duane's photo in Parsons, Kansas, was the last company in the world developing Kodachrome film, as people from around the world sent in their last roles to be developed. Kodak's been a great innovator. Kodak invented the digital camera in 1975. Here is the Kodak DCS digital camera with its Nikon film body with a hefty price tag of $13,000 back in 1992, but it never caught on with consumers. And by the way, the same thing happened to Sony. Sony had the technology to come up with uh, digital audio players. Guess what? They sat on it till, you know, iPhone, iPads ate their lunch. So it, it's, it's, it's not very uncommon for uh, companies to simply ignore uh, 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 game-changing technology that they might themselves have invented, but not, not put money behind it. As it has fallen behind in its industry, Kodak's stock price has suffered. What was worth $97 a share in 1997 fell to under a dollar in 2011. Kodak says it's not out of the picture yet and says they have no intention to file for bankruptcy. It's still a big seller of film for traditional cameras and is banking on its pipeline of patents that company officials say could be worth billions of dollars. I'm Philip Alexio, BOA News.